Witness, please state your name and occupation. Larry Butts. Uh, ladies, man. This is a colossal waste of time. Mr. Potts, please begin your testimony. You got it, Pops. Well, I was hanging out with my girlfriend Ruth in my mansion with a golden picket fence. So must I remind you now to please tell the truth because perjury's a criminal offense. Woo! Uh, sorry, let me try that again. All right. See, I was all alone because I just been dumped and I know that isn't easy to believe. I hit the lake so I could look for some junk Which had also left me on that Christmas Eve But as I brought that boat back into the shop I heard a gunfire with a noisy pop And I know you don't think my opinion counts for a whole lot But let me guarantee you that I heard that shot That's how it all happened, I recall that clear as day So believe it even if you think I'm nuts uh, His testimony's vague Can't you know just what they say? It's usually the butts. This witness is contributing nothing. I suggest he be dismissed and ideally drawn and quartered. Hold it! Larry, there is one thing that sounds out of place in your testimony. And what's that, Nick? Well, you say you heard a gunshot. But yesterday, Miss Lottehart testified, and I quote, Y'all listen good now. I heard two dang gunshots that night. Nick, you said Miss and not Mrs., right? Because if she's available... L Larry, come on, please, just stay focused and explain why you didn't hear the second gunshot. Truth is that I was listening on my headphones because radio's the friend that's always there. I like to jam out when I'm feeling alone, so I may have missed the shot that filled the air. But I remember that one bang that I heard The DJ was talking when it occurred So I know it wasn't something like a killer drum and riff But let me guarantee you that I was scared stiff When the DJ talked there was hardly any noise So I listened in awe of a really sexy voice It was pure and demure yet mature and so refined I can't get that lovely voice out of my mind That's how it all happened, I recall it plain as ink Had to get up here, it took a lot of guts Ha! This guy's a tears shrink, cause his testimony stinks But when something smells, it's probably the butts I can't stand to listen to this lad This young man has nothing new to add Larry, there's just one thing I should know When you listened to the radio In regards to the DJ, what exactly did she say on that show? Do you know? I, I remember She said, hey, it's almost Christmas well, Mr. Wright, anything to add? I, um... Uh... As compelling as your argument is, I demand the witness end this pointless charade. Now! Oh, very well. Mr. Larry Botts, you are now dismissed. Objection! Your Honor, please! I just found out how this testimony changes everything! If you recall, Miss Lotta's camera went off at 12.15 December 25th. Yes, yes. And though the witness is incompetent and frankly quite a dope, I know hey. his shaky testimony's not a myth. Nick, come on, And though buddy. we've all assumed the gunfire twice, in fact, the murder weapon fired thrice. One was fired Christmas Eve, the other's Christmas Day, and these three photos illustrate my repartee. See? One, from when the camera went off at 11.50 p.m. Almost Christmas. And two more at 12.15. The camera caught three snapshots for three gunshots. And Larry's testimony proves it! Why, well, you're absolutely right. No objections, Mr. Von Karma? <sighs> Very well, then. The question is, what happened in this 25-minute gap? Indeed. We shall look into this matter and finish the trial tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Butts, your final thoughts. Wow, Nick, that's yeah. quite a trick. It's shocking to me. It's impressive how you managed to survive. I think that you can get a degree, or at worst, just a present for life. That's how it all happened, and that's all I've got to say. I recall it just like it was yesterday. It was Tuesday. And so I saved the day, even though I'm just a clown. When something smells, it's gotta be That man needs a lobotomy When something smells, it's gotta be the blood